hello there. Um, this is a picture of a, a planet, a, a spaceship, and and Barnard's Loop, which is uh, always a good thing to try and try and do. Uh, it's some iconic imagery, basically. This is a real dusty little knobbly rock. I'm using a mask because it, it, it keeps it the right shape whilst you're colouring in, so you don't have to rub out half the bits you've done. And it, and it, it makes it quite tidy. I mean, I have to use a paintbrush to, to scrub off a little bit of chalk that escapes, but, but you've got something to work with if you, at least you can start. And uh, anyway, so yeah, I'm using dark blue paper because the space is dark. And... Uh, all the different shades of browns and it was quite pinkish this was it had some pinks and oranges in there as well so i quite like uh, the craters not being quite black but just having that, that pinkish kind of hue to them it suggests that it's a, perhaps a an iron or metal rich planet of some sort i don't know it's not my screenshot somebody uh, contacted me on uh, my yahoo email and uh, sent it me to color in oh look this is a bit of a slow bit <laughs> Oh dear, never mind. I'm not fixing it now. Don't matter. There, bits of white highlights where the light is hitting. Clearly the, the light is coming from behind us at the left, but uh, we don't know what from. So it was clearly uh, a source of light in the system that uh, was a pretty bright star of some sort. Oh, look, using pencil crayons. It's a bit cheaty, but I don't really care. Uh, you just can't get the sharp end edges with uh, chalk, even if you do use masks. Look, I'm putting a bit of black on the blue and smush that in, and then I put a bit of blue and greenish there because there's loads of different tones the the plane of the galaxy had um had a kind of a, a paler sort of almost greenish color to it and look bringing it up to the edge of the planet by using the bit cut out of the mask and uh, that top left part is engine flare from a um, asp scout here's barnard's loop and barnard's loop is the thing i was planning to talk about it's got uh it's it, it's it's got that amazing kind of like iconic shape that you've all tried to get to it's permit locked in game though unfortunately there's a little tiny bit of Orion there. Apparently it's, um, I've not seen it. Uh, you, you, in theory, if you were like in the Sahara Desert, you might be able to see it. It's it's on Orion's sword in the constellation of Orion. But I, I, I you can get with a normal DSLR, if you've got a good tripod and you're willing to um, leave it out there for a few hours, you can get photographs of it without using a telescope, I think. I think... I might be wrong, that bit on the left-hand side, that's California Nebula. Uh, I, I, I can check it. I had to check it on Wikipedia. Uh, I, I, I got various facts that I have about <laughs> Barnard's Loop. Things like it's um, between a couple of hundred and uh, 1,400 light years away from us, uh, which is, is quite different, isn't it? Yeah, the, the guy that um, photographed it and described it, at the end of the 1800s he he's also the person that uh, obviously named barnard star and apparently that one visibly travels slightly faster according to texts upon the internet <laughs> that's yeah that, that parallaxy thing i guess it means it's, it's it's nearer and as we know barnard star is quite near i'm obliged to say that's where dockers happens but it's best you forget that you ever heard that <laughs> there's a bunch of little nebulas there in that area horseheads in there too you can't really see horsehead uh, in that picture. This is the app scout coming on. It's got what looks like a, uh, I've done this paint pack before, it's got a, a kind of like a orange stripes going down from the, the front, like not flames, but it's, it's sort of, a, if flames could be done as an art deco bookcase, then flames. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I, I really liked the colours in this. I enjoyed doing a little rocky, rocky moon and, and I, I really enjoyed working the nebula into the, um, into the Barnard's loop. I've been there to turn back because I, I hit a bit I couldn't get past when I went out that way. Got some nice screenies, that's all. Anyway, uh, yeah, sorry, I've been witching at you. Yeah, that's, that's done. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs> See you later. Bye.